So once you open your um, your web term, clone your repository. Now we've created a repository here, right? So we want to clone it. We want to put this folder on our um, on our shell, okay? So that um, anything we do inside the folder it can appear here, okay? So we want to pull that folder i want to pull it here then yeah, anything we put inside it can appear so clone your repository on the web term of the sandbox do the following clone your repository that's what we call clone. so you say git clone so you know we can use the http or we can use the hs hs hss or what's it called um, so this is the http right and this is the ssh rather Okay, so we have the SSH and we have the HTTP. So now they are using the HTTP method. So the HTTP method requires to write the git clone first and HTTP slash slash. Just like this. Yeah, HTTP slash slash git. So let's just copy this. And you copy. Copy man. I'm not sure if I was copy. Okay, so I copy. Okay, so git clone HTTP your personal access token. Okay, so we'll come here, then write git oh no pass no. git clone. Right? So let me just paste what I copied. HTTP yes, slash slash right and then your personal access token at kitup.com. So where is it? Uh Personal access token is here. Copy it. Don't forget. So, so yeah, I'll just paste my personal access token and then put add the art um, at github.com, right? And then slash your username slash um, your repository name so let's see if that's what we are told slash at username slash repository name then you press enter you should write cloning into this you appear to have cloned an empty repository because it's empty of course so let's press our calm down enter Cloning one you appear to then you are good, right? So if I do ls to list all the files, you see that I have my repository um, here. Okay, 